Thank you. Well, it's now time for our zoo segment with Charlie from Gladys Porter Zoo down there in Brownsville. And I am overly joy today that you brought my favorite Your snake. You are lucky that the Burmese python was unavailable. I couldn't bring it. In. I'm the, glad the big 14 foot python. So yeah, we had to we'll take this guy. This is this is okay. And, yeah, it's okay. This is a he's a <laughs> desert king snake. He's not you know and considering um, it's actually a younger um, uh, snake, they can actually grow to maybe maybe about five or six feet in length. So, um, and they're found in Texas. You can find them in like in different parts of uh, New Mexico, Arizona. Mm -hmm. And um, uh, one of the things that um, people don't know about this snake, because it does look like if it could possibly be a venomous snake yeah. because yeah. Of, of his coloration, he's a little bit darker. Um, but um, they eat rattlesnakes when they're a little bit bigger. I know, don't get yeah. scared. <laughs> <laughs> they, they they can eat rattlesnakes and they actually um, king snakes in general yeah. um, are other snake eaters. So that that wow. so when you have a snake like this, more chances are are that you won't have another snake in the area. Great. So so you know I guess you have to if you don't really uh -huh. like snakes, you have to kind of um, you know I guess make a little trade. You know, sure. One snake like a little sacrifice. Of, yeah, a little yeah. sacrifice. And, yeah. and and of course. Um, Rattlesnakes, the Texas indigo, the mm -hmm. king snakes, they all eat rattlesnakes. So right. they're, they don't have, they have like an immunity to their venom. And these are snakes that you can, you can actually find these in your house, can you? Or just basically in your yard? And well, depends, you know, yeah. different times, you know, people can find, you know, they, they can make their way into some people's houses. And, and I know I've retrieved snakes from people's houses before okay. and, okay. and uh, it happens, but for the most part, we always tell people if you're unfamiliar with snakes, mm -hmm. keep away because you really never know um, you know, if it is a venomous snake or, and, and, and most of the time, if you do confront a snake, even if it is a non-venomous snake like yeah. this one, they will defend themselves. So yeah. of course, you know, they don't want, they think you're going to eat them or sure. something. So. Yeah, absolutely. Well, uh, thanks so much for bringing the non-venomous snake. I really <laughs> appreciate it. And the smaller one as well. Now you always have a lot of great things going on there uh, at the zoo. We've got Halloween coming up. Yeah, we have a uh, Boo at the Zoo. It's our 27th annual Boo at the Zoo. So if you haven't made it out to the event and uh, you should go, it's, it's a great experience. Um, half of the zoo is specifically closed off for this event. Um, there's about 30 treat stations. We have uh, games, we have a haunted house, we have a mermaid sh uh, show and everything. So it, the kids really, really love it. Um, the adults love it. Yeah, you know, everybody's absolutely. there. So um, we're actually in the process of, of getting ready for the, the whole event. So these next two weeks, are, it's full on with the zoo. So you'll see the zoo transition over to Halloween. 30 treat stations? Yeah. That's fantastic. Some kids don't even make it to, you know, 30 houses. I know. A it's, a, it's, it's a, it's a, a better area to go to. Yeah, and what's what's really around. great, you know, people, you know, families can show up during the morning hours when it's still light out there. If you don't want your kids to be out there, you know, when it's a little bit darker, but it's completely safe and secure. Yeah, for Zoom members, it opens at 5 p.m. Mm -hmm. and then, of course, the sun probably won't go down to maybe about seven ish. Yeah. So you have that whole window if you do want to go out during the day. And then sometimes, you know, they want to take their kids over to a relative's house. You can still do that in the afternoon. But if you want to. You know, you still come at seven o'clock, but I always tell people come early because yeah. the parking situation can get a little crazy. Yeah, absolutely. And real quickly, admission prices? It's two fifty pre sale and three fifty at the door. Sounds good. Sounds like it's going to be a good time. Uh, check it out, folks. If you've never been down there to Gladys Porter Zoo before in Brownsville, be sure to go check it out. They've got fantastic animals down there. And if you don't know what you're doing for Halloween, go to Boo at the Zoo. Yeah. Folks, don't go anywhere. Channel Five News at noon. We'll be right back.